Well, well, well. Looks like 2020 is finally coming to an end. And since I properly started 3D printing pretty much the start of the year, I thought this would be a great opportunity to talk about some things like how much filament I used, how much waste I produced, and how much I've improved over one year of being a 3D printing hobbyist. Without further ado, let us commence forth. Firstly, filament. How much of it did I use running a single printer for some time most days this year? This much. I used this much. And by this much, I mean around 6 kilograms. Here I have 5 empty 1 kilogram reels, 1 full 1 kilogram reel, and 2 partly used 600 gram reels. In total, it's about 180 Australian dollars worth of filament. For a whole year of pretty intensive printing, I think that's pretty decent. That filament was enough to prototype and print 25 different projects, including two fairly large projects that lay in the mill. Another interesting stat is how much of that 6 kilogram was waste. I keep all of my supports and failed prints just in case I ever get one of those fancy filament recycling machines one day, so I can show what a whole year of waste looks like. And uh, again, it's about this much. If we weigh the waste, it comes out to about 700 grams, or about 12%. It's about $21 worth of filament waste for the year. Next, I want to show the result of what a year of trial and error looks like. As mentioned, I only really started designing my own parts at the start of this year. This is cool because I can illustrate what one year of learning looks like. To begin with, my first print that I designed this year. It's an upgrade for a camping stove, and it was also the first video I made for this channel. It's simple but functional, but there's so much that could have been improved on that I didn't know when starting out. Most notably, the fit and finish. I had no idea what tolerances to use, so the fit of the parts is pretty meh. The part itself is also pretty weak, these legs would snap off so easily. If I was to redesign this, I would include a bevel or extra support arm to make them harder to snap off. In comparison, my most recent project, my lathe. There's pretty obviously been some improvement here, in so many ways. No way that I could have designed this 12 months ago. Finally, I wanted to share my favourite print of the year. Not the most popular, but the one I'm most proud of. And that has to be the rope maker. Making small stuff is definitely what I enjoy doing the most. And if you're a hobby designer, I really recommend trying it. It's a great thinking exercise to fit a set of requirements into a small space. In this case, I was challenging myself to not just fit the rope maker parts, but the tools to assemble it as well, and I couldn't be happier with the results. Anyways, that's all I have for this video. I hope 2020 wasn't too hard on you. Here's hoping 2021 goes a bit smoother.